Step one, you're gonna need a can of cream of mushroom soup. Go ahead and open that up. And we're gonna wanna eat this entire can. We don't wanna waste any, any ingredients, okay? Now, not even cheesy china. Now, we just need a can. It really doesn't matter what. Why do I do cream of mushroom soup? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that's me, Alan Pan, in a video sponsored by Surfshark VPN. You might be wondering how I got myself into this mess. Well, it all started about two years ago. Whoa, 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 we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Let's just get back to the recipe. Step two, get the smallest turkey possible from your local grocery store and find a flower pot and lid from your local gardening store that'll fit your turkey. Step three, head to a sunny Los Angeles beach to defrost your turkey and make sure you use plenty of sunscreen. Oh, and grab about half a flower pot worth of sand while you're there. Step four, measure out 27 parts of aluminum powder with 80 parts iron oxide powder by weight and mix thoroughly in a marinade bag. Stick a little sprig of magnesium in there. Oh! There we go! Woo! Do you see that? That's molten iron in there. It's red hot. Oh, that is nice. I can't actually see anything right now. Can you see anything? I'm blinking and I'm just seeing dots. <laughs> So all we gotta do now is uh, find a way to shove a bunch of that into a turkey and it'll probably cook, right? Step five, combine all of your ingredients in the flower pot. For a nine and a half pound turkey, we need about 750 kilojoules of heat energy to fully cook it. A classic thermite reaction releases about four kilojoules of energy for every gram of thermite powder. So if we mix up 500 grams of thermite, that gives us 2000 kilojoules of energy, which should be more than enough to fully cook our small turkey. My turkeys are always the best turkeys. How do you zoom on this? I don't, uh... It's really I, slow. It's like, <laughs> it's, like, like it's like impending doom as it slowly <laughs> creeps into your face. All right, I've got like a pound of thermite. Uh, that looks uh, pretty yeah. gross. And there's, <laughs> what, there's, a, there's a turkey in there. And so I'm gonna put that thermite in a soup can and put the soup can in the turkey. Is that, is that gonna work? Yeah, it'll do something. All the smart people here said that it's gonna work, so it's gonna work. I didn't say anything yet. You're not the smart person here. <laughs> you can do it in the garage. Garage? No, 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 go out there. Go down the woods, like way down there. No! Go in the woods. We are not taking this anywhere near the hillside. This place catches on fire like three times a year. I'm making sure we don't die from, uh, what was it? What was it, Nigel? Aluminum vapor or something. Okay, yeah, that's not pleasant. So this is to blow the air out of the room. Here's Hell. first aid. <laughs> we might need some of this. <laughs> Where's the ones that make your third degree burns go away? <laughs> I think it's I think it's this stuff here. <laughs> just spray it on your that. wounds. I just you see the picture of the bear and I know exactly what it is. Alan, how happy are you right now that you found this? I'm pretty one out of ten, is that what that is? Pretty... You could include your big toes. Your big toes too? Two... Ten out of ten, baby. So hopefully lighting the magnesium will light the thermite. I'm gonna use Regular lighter, and then Will's gonna use that at the same time. I'm sorry, are you talking? Okay. Do you want me to get in there? Oh, oh. oh that's so bright! Oh, but no, oh, Alex, what up? feeling house fire 2 electric boogaloo. <laughs> Wait, house fire 2 thermite boogaloo. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that to just shoot out so much. I kind of, I thought it would just kind of have a nice meltdown like with the small scale, but it uh, <laughs> I think uh, this might not be a good recipe. What do you think, Nigel? 
What, what's your expert opinion? What, what do you think of, of this? What, chemi chemistry wise, what just uh, happened? It was uh, not something I would do <laughs> if I had the choice. What do you think? I think airplanes are awesome. <laughs> about, about the turkey. Oh, the turkey. Oh, Alan's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? He's just, he's, just on, he's on his phone, clearly doesn't care. I think it's medium rare. Probably <laughs> just how I like it. <laughs> We're gonna like film cameras with cameras. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. And right here, right here when the lid pops. Oh! <laughs> that is the stupidest thing that we have ever done for Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's been maybe like an hour, an hour and a half. So I'm gonna investigate what's in here. This turkey that almost killed all of us. Moment of truth. Oh no. Oh god. How is the sand burned? So I guess I think the thermite was like kind of shooting out. And then when the lid got on it, it just went, oh my god, look. This is the part of the lid that was directly above the thermite as it was going off. That's that's solid iron. <laughs> the neck is not cooked. The neck is just covered in a fine layer of burnt iron. So <laughs> This might actually be the worst turkey we've ever done. <laughs> okay, well, the plastic handle that's normally here is melted. Um... <laughs> I think there's, there's a, a lot of raw turkey here. Oh, no. Oh, God. It is so raw. Oh, no. This is my turkey. This is the worst turkey out of all of them. What happened? All of the energy, it like, all of the thermite ended up like just shooting out everywhere. It got stuck on the lid and like hardly any actually seems to have stayed in the turkey whatsoever. I don't think there's any part of this that's edible. Like at least both, like with the <laughs> molten aluminum turkey, like there was enough on it that was cooked where there was like bits that we could eat. But this is like completely raw except for the parts that are completely burned and charred. There is the solid iron that came from that thermite reaction. So this, <laughs> this is a, a pure iron cast of the inside of a turkey's spine. This is the spine hole right here. And you can see the ribs on the side here. This massive iron was molten, it was liquid about an hour ago. Hello chefs, is it fully cooked? Yeah, here's the, here's the part you want. This is the, like the wishbone of this turkey. That's gross looking. The math says it should have been. Alan, that looks raw. <laughs> I molded the spine of the turkey and not a single part of this turkey is edible. It kind of looks like a Patreon giveaway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, it sure does, Will. You can't eat it. This is, this is a complete disaster from every, every angle, every conceivable angle. Dude. Hey, Peter, you were making a, a claim that we could probably use to serve gravy, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll have that. about you, but I know that I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of traveling for the holidays. That's why I'm using Surfshark to protect my online privacy. Surfshark is a VPN service, so it hides your IP address and encrypts all of your internet traffic so that no one can see all the dirty, dirty things you do online, you freak. Surfshark also blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, and unlike other VPN services, you can use it on as many devices as you want simultaneously. If you're connecting to janky airport Wi-Fi, you definitely want to use Surfshark to make sure thieves don't steal your sweet, sweet online data. Plus, with Surfshark, you can use streaming services from whatever country or region you want, which is how super cool spies stream their content, probably. Click the link in the description or go to surfshark.deal slash advanced and use my promo code ADVANCE to get 83% off the regular price plus three months free. That's an awesome deal, so get it while it's hot. <laughs> you should throw it off the balcony. <laughs> Just no! no. Okay. Okay, what do they do? They kind of spin around? They spin around, like yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh! <laughs>